What's up, peeps? Nick Battle, a.k.a. Nuno's Corner, man. First off, if you like this content that is coming your way, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It means a lot. And if you're listening to this on the podcast and not looking at this on YouTube, go give me a five-star comment, review, like, whatever it is on all your streaming platforms. Anywhere that you can find a podcast, you're going to find the Nuno's Corner podcast, where it's going to be Apple, uh, Google Play, Stitcher, Breaker, the whole nine. It's going to be there. Um, but, guys, we're going to talk about some recruiting talk here. You know, it's been a long couple of weeks here because, you know, the holidays and a lot of things happening just over the holidays. So just to recap, folks, over the past week, uh, Texas has lost three commitments, one from Jamarion Miller, the stud running back from Tyler Legacy, one of the best running backs here in the country. He decommitted and then committed to Alabama. Um, we also lost our money Winfield, one of my favorite, uh, you know, guys here in the in the class here this year. We lost him. He is from Louisville, Texas. Um, probably, you know, when you start looking at the tea leaves here, it looks like that's going to be a Michigan State, um, you know, you know, guy now. Um, and we lost Owen Carey. So Owen Carey is from Matter Day. Um, and the Owen Carey one doesn't sting too much. It's just the fact that, you know, we lost three guys. Uh, but Owen Carey's his his position, you know, he was a linebacker, but it seemed like he lost his starting position at his high school uh, to a, a uh, up and coming twenty twenty four kid who's supposed to be a stud. Um, so basically, he wasn't even starting. So probably a mutual agreement, not only from Owen Carey but also from the Texas staff. Um, so yeah, we lost three commitments this week, but we did gain one. You know, so Jalen Gilbo, and he was previously with the with the Longhorns. He actually decommitted from us, went to TCU. TCU basically loses their whole staff, uh, you know, with Gary Patterson leaving. And Gilbo comes back to Texas. I like Gilbo as a recruit. Uh, his kid's about six foot, maybe 175 pounds. But when you see pictures of this kid, he's a big 175. Um, so this is a guy who can has a lot of versatility, um, can definitely put a cornerback, you know, of course. Um you know, that's his natural position, but also looks like he can play some safety as well. Has to frame his frame can feel like he's a big kid. Um, but if you guys are, you know, just have been paying attention here over the last couple of days, you've been seeing that we have guys like Brown and Gilbo and Bijan Robinson. They have been on just the IG live stream. So these guys are really committed and they're really 10 toes down trying to get some more guys to come here to Texas to fill out this this class. Um, so it, it's it's going to be something great here uh, for the 2022 season. Um, but going back to the guys who decommitted, uh, Miller going to Alabama, big sting for Texas. I think he is, no kidding, one of the best backs here in the country. Um, but Texas is in a good position at, at the running back position here with Bijan Robinson here for another year, with Jonathan Brooks, with, with Keelan Robinson, with Roshan Johnson for another year. And also, um, you know, having Jaden Blue coming here next year, who I believe is probably the top back in the country. If he wasn't, you know, um, you know, taking this year off, he would definitely be ranked a lot higher than what he is. When he took off his senior season, they dropped his rankings down a lot. But, uh, yeah, Jaden Blue is that guy. You pair him with a Miller, you got a, a two-headed monster here for that class. But obviously that's not going to happen anymore. Um, but what Texas does have to do is try to get somebody else to fill in in that second running back position, um, which I think that this staff is going to find somebody with the speed, with the balance, with the power uh, that they need here for this class. Losing a guy like Winfield, guys, you guys know how I feel about Winfield. Winfield, I think, is one of the best recruits here in the state. Uh, I love his games. Fluid wide receiver, a big wide receiver as well, but very fluid out of Louisville. Like I said, one of my favorite guys in this class. Uh, sad that he's not coming here in the team. What does this leave Texas? At least Texas with only one wide receiver in this class, Thompson, who is a speedster. Thompson is a speedster, guys. Uh, a definite 4-3, four, 4-4 four, four guy. Uh, I think he ran a 10-2 and a 100-meter. Texas needs to go get more wide receivers out there um, with that kind of speed to supplement him in this 2022 class. So we got a lot of things opening up here. Um, you know, so Owen Carey did put the linebacker position, but there's a lot of things opening up. And if you guys have been following what's been happening here in college football lately, um, with guys like Lincoln Riley leaving to go to USC, you're looking at some of the some of the turnaround here on the staffs, uh, and and just a lot of the recruits that are actually, you know, uh, decommitting from Oklahoma. And you're starting to see that last night, last night. Um, former Oklahoma recruit and commitment, Kobe McKenzie. Um, he decommitted yesterday once, once Lincoln Rowley said that he was going to USC. 
Uh, this kid is from Lubbock, Texas, a uh, 6 to 245-pound linebacker. Um, he has a composite ranking of around 95 at the 120 ranked uh, player here in the country per the 247 composite rankings, number 11th linebacker in the country, and the number 21 uh, player in the state of Texas per 247 composite. He was on live stream last night with the with the Gilbos, with the Browns, with Bijan, uh, with uh, Justice Finkley, one of my favorite recruits here in this class as well from Alabama, you know, from Trustville. Um, so, hey, we might have lost Owen Carey, but we might be getting some some good guys to come in that are a little bit more, not a little bit more, but a lot highly more qualified. I shouldn't say qualified, it's the wrong word. Covered it by the staff. Some guys who we thought we didn't have a shot with because they were already committed. Um, so now we're getting an opportunity to 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 uh, shore up this class here in 2022. It's going to be a great season. It's going to be a great season. Um, you know, but getting back to the Gilbo also, you know, so Gilbo coming back on on board. We needed another cornerback in the worst way. Uh, we, we only had basically one pure corner here, and that pure corner that we had here on this team. Uh, was definitely well, we got Jalen Gilbo now, but we had Champ Champ Lewis out of uh Louisiana. We also got Austin Jordan, who's more of a safety, you know, you know, stop. He's very versatile as well. Austin Jordan plays safety, can play uh, you know, the corner as well. And then we got our stud here, Brian Allen Jr., um, who who's a safety as well, been one of the top recruiters here for this team as well, 10 toes down as well. But getting Jalen Gilbo. Um, allows you to have two cornerbacks in this class with him and Champ Lewis. And you got two safeties in this class, Brian Allen Jr. and Austin Jordan. So Texas can definitely take at least one more, one more guy at the defensive back position, probably at cornerback. You will want to see that. Uh, so, you know, just to round out this class right now, we're looking at right now, Texas has uh, how many, how many recruits we have now? Uh, Texas has 20 commits right now. Um, Let's say, for instance, they take five more, six more. You definitely, since we lost Owen Carey, since we lost Miller, since we lost Winfield, we got to fill those spots with some offensive linemen. Um, yeah, looking at that live chat last night, guys, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, chat was going on uh, with with some pretty coveted offensive linemen here in the state. One of those guys uh, who uh, many people here in the in the state want and have been clamoring for. It's a guy named Cam Dewberry. Cam Dewberry was on that live last night as well. And it looks like Brown was trying to get him to <laughs> he was trying to get him to to get his his uh his uh edits right for Texas and he and he heard him say, I gotta go, I gotta hang up. So no telling where Cam Cam Dewberry's gonna go. We'll be an awesome pickup here for Texas. Awesome pickup for Texas. Also, um, you know, Agbo. Agbo is a guy who is um a guy who is uncommitted right now. I uh, would love to see him in, in a Texas uniform, uh, but we shall see. We shall see another big body kid um, who is highly coveted by everybody. And, and the uh, the thought was that this was a Texas OU race. And now with Lincoln Riley leaving, is it really a Texas OU race anymore? Is this more a Texas race? Because I think it's top four is Texas OU um, Auburn, and uh, I forgot who the fourth team was. But many thought that this was a Texas OU race. So if this is truly a Texas OU race, then, hey, I think Texas is, is in a good spot right now. He was on that live stream as well. Uh, so, yeah, we got a lot of things coming up here, guys. Uh, one thing to actually look out for, I would love to see Devin Campbell, Devon Campbell. Um. You know, he has been crystal balled here to come to Texas for a while, uh, but also he has taken an unofficial visit um, to USC. And Texas and OU has kind of been in the runnings. Now on Lincoln Riley going to going to USC, that's going to be something to watch here. Uh, you know, you know, just coming up here in, in the near future. But Texas has to shore up that offensive line. You can get a Campbell. You can get a Dewberry. You can get an Agbo. Uh, man, that, that, uh, that'll go <laughs> – That'll play wonders, man. You also got to start looking at guys who are also committed to Oklahoma now, now that they don't have a coach. Uh, Sexton. Sexton was a guy that Texas uh, 
kind of looked at previously. I don't think they looked at too hard, but now with the numbers that we have here at uh, at Texas, the lack of uh, offensive line talent for this class, we only got two guys committed. It'd be something to kind of kick the tire stand as well, um, because hey, it, it's a good opportunity to to get a kid to stay closer to home. Um, you know, Austin is a little bit closer to home. He, you know, he's from Oklahoma and then uh, Los Angeles. Um, so it'd be something just just to see. Uh, but on that note, guys, man, hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, just a quick recruiting update. You know, I couldn't get this to you guys last week. Just because Thanksgiving and, you know, everybody was busy um, and everything happened so fast last week. Uh, but, yeah, guys, just, just a quick recap. Uh, Texas loses three commitments last week. Uh, Owen Carey, you know, from Matter Day. Jamario Miller from Tyler Legacy. And also Armani Winfield from Louisville, out of Louisville, Texas. Um Miller and Winfield were two of my favorite guys in this class. I hate to see them, you know, leave the class. But if they leave the class and we have to sacrifice them to get more offensive linemen, I'm all for it. No disrespect to those guys because I think they're going to be really good players here in college. Owen Carey, also one of the guys who I really liked in this class. Uh, he's very, a very nice guy. You know, as soon as he committed, um, I did a video on him, and he was uh, very, very receptive of the video, uh, you know, you know, just hit me up on Twitter and things of that nature. Um, so, he, you know, he's a good follow, a kid with a good uh, a good head in the shoulders. And, you know, I got to get a feeling he's going to land somewhere nice and he is going to make the best out of his situation. So, you know, good to see um, that these guys are making some of the most important decisions of their life. And, and guys, people got to understand college is not a four year decision. It's not a four or five year decision. It's not a three, four or five year decision, just depending on how good you are. Uh, it is a 20 year decision. It is a lifelong decision. And, you know, if you don't think it is, go look at a previous player that, that that's here at Texas. Um, you know, Topia Mighty. Topia Mighty has been there for six years. Um, didn't, didn't get that opportunity to play early. Well, you know, I think he had the opportunity, but he just wasn't in the right mental state. And he's put this on his Twitter page. But he's made uh, some of the best sound judgment decisions to impact his life for the remainder of his life. You know, getting a bachelor's from Texas and getting two masters from Texas, he set up. He set up before the age of 24 with three degrees and able to uh, do great things when he leaves this university. And that's what it's all about. You got to understand, you know, folks, that less than one percent of college athletes go to the pros and you got to make the best out of your situation while you're there. So salute to these guys for making the hardest decisions of their lives and making a decision that they think is going to benefit them the most in the long run. Would I've loved to keep Miller, Winfield, and Owen Carey? Yes, would love to keep those guys here on, on this team. But we also got to understand that these guys got to make the best decisions for themselves and where they feel most comfortable. And so on that note, man, to all the guys who decommitted, good luck to you. I wish you nothing but the best. To Jalen Gilbo, hey, man, props for coming back. People hardly ever come back to a school that they decommitted from, but it's good to see him come back. We need that uh, that depth at cornerback. This is a guy who's a potential starter. I love this kid. I love his size, man. Like I say, he's a big 175, six foot 175, 180 pounds, big 175 with room to grow in his frame. I like the kids game a lot. Uh, it's one of those guys I was I hated to see leave when he decommitted, um, but I'm glad to see him come back. And it's the guy who's also making another 20 year decision, a lifetime decision. Get your degree here from Texas and do some great things. But on that note, guys, man, I am out, man. Like I always tell you guys, do you like what's on the hat, man? Do you don't be afraid to fail. I grow your environment. Understand your brilliance. And oh, also, guys, I always tell you guys, man. 10% off promo code NCPeeps10 at NinosCornerMerch.com. You can get the hoodies, you can get the, the hats, you can get the socks, the whole nine, man. It's all on the website, you know, uh, tights for your girls, all that good stuff, man. You know, but um, it is what it is, man. Nino's Corner, I'm out. Salute to you guys. Peace.